Alright, so this is more Super Auto Pets, just messing around in Arena and seeing what can work. One of the things that they changed in this game was the Lioness. It used to be a Tier 5, and now it is a Tier 6, so is it still any good? The answer is yes, it's still extremely good. If you've ever played any versus lobbies in this game, you'll know that most of the time, if it's a big enough lobby, you have to get 50-50s in the shop in order to win. And the way to do that is either to go Chicken or to go Lioness. The chicken is currently tier 5, lioness is tier 6, and chicken usually does it faster, so that is usually the preferred method, but the lioness can still make it work, and even in arena, when you only have 10 hearts, you can also make it work there, as you'll see in this video. And I think it's just, it feels so good, it's so satisfying to get 50-50s in the shop, and just have an absolutely absurdly good team that just rolls over everyone, and uh... I think, yeah, so this is a custom pack, which means I'm playing against other custom packs. It's not, like, the most optimal deck uh, after just stealing Tangle's custom deck, which is mostly just focused on buy-selling. Uh, apparently, that is what's best. Like, Dog, Buffalo, Starfish, those are pretty much the three main components to building a good custom deck. And uh, this one doesn't really focus too much on that. It's called Seal. I Originally, I wanted to get a five seal run and then buy soft ice that hits all five seals so that they all go crazy and buff each other. But that turned out to be way harder than I thought. Maybe I could just do four seals and just settle with that. But I kept greeting so hard trying to get five seals and it never got it. Uh, but, okay, Capybara, or Capybara, Capybara. Man, I, I should just Google this so I actually know how to pronounce it. But... It's an interesting unit. Just give some random shop pets plus two plus one. Uh, I've gone with like four capybaras, and it hasn't worked out super well. But as long that's probably because it was just way too late into the round um, or into the game. It seems like a pretty helpful unit, but I have no idea if it's actually that good. Early hawk. I'm surprised there's hawk even in this one. It could be fun to do like a shooters only. Of course, I mean, those are some of the most popular videos, maybe to, like, revive the channel. You know, I don't actually know. So, obviously, when you take a huge break from YouTube, I'm pretty sure they just, like, no longer recommend your videos. You just follow the YouTube algorithm. And most of the people who are left watching are probably already subscribed rather than a lot of uh, newer viewers. And so I'm happy for everyone who's still watching after me taking a huge break. It's, uh... It's nice to at least have some people watching. Early Monkey, very lucky. Uh, decided to sell Hummingbird, even though I could just pill the Blobfish, but I guess I wanted level 2 Monkey. Interesting decision there. And another Blobfish. The Blobfish just, like, the addition of Blobfish and Crow, and you also get Chocolate. There's just, it's so easy to level stuff up now, which means getting level 3 is probably going to be a little easier. But I have to say winning is not super easy because of the custom packs and you'll find some pretty broken teams. Like if I wanted to kind of mess around with certain things, it's actually much easier to do that with the weekly pack, I think. Because people who are playing the weekly pack don't aren't following, you know, like their, I don't know, broken custom pack ideas. And so they're pretty weak teams, I think, comparatively. I'm not really sure that's not like a verified thing. Also, why am I buffing the Capybara? That is so weird. But it's a 17-15. I guess that's not too bad. I'm going to lose this round, though. And I'm already down to two lives. So you would think that, like, at this point, it's a little risky to go Lioness when you have two hearts or two lives. But I decide, yeah, sure, why not? I sold the Mosquito instead of the Moth. The Moth does give plus six attack. I kind of love the Moth. Maybe I'm way overrating it, but I still, I don't know, I like it. And I also, level two Blobfish is just so nice. You can immediately get this tier 6 to level 2 if you can find a pill, which I don't, but I'm sure it will happen eventually. And this team looks really weak. I'm even surprised. Like, do I go down to lethal here? There's a very good chance, I think. And, yeah, wow, already down to lethal. And the lioness thing has just started, and I'm at two wins. It looks hopeless, doesn't it? It's like, how am I going to get out of this log jam? But uh, once I find a pill... It'll open up a slot, and maybe I can get things going. Also, if I can get a pill for this turtle. Oh, wait, I sold the monkey. Wow. I didn't even notice that, but alpaca is usually just an instant buy for me now. It's just, like, the potential for level 2 alpaca 
it is way too busted. I don't know if they should actually change it since it is a lot of fun and uh, it's uh, not the easiest thing to get a level 2 alpaca pretty quickly. But you can see I'm on lethal. I'm really playing with fire here. Uh, and I just need to survive so I decide I'll go ahead and take a 1915 eagle. That's not bad. And there's some melon armor. Okay, so I no longer need that pill on the turtle. I bought a taco there. Wow, don't see that too often. But this level two lioness is slowly building it up. I don't. I didn't even mention what it actually does. But yeah, the lioness gives plus two, plus two to all current and future shops. So it's kind of similar to the old version of a can. Uh, cans now give plus two, plus one, but lioness is plus two, plus two. And there's a whole bunch more lionesses. Wow. And I can immediately get a level 2 Lioness. So there's two level 2s. And Stegosaurus is probably one of the best things just for tempo in this game. It gives an absolutely massive boost. Plus 12, plus 12. If you can get to level like 2, then it's going to give plus 24, plus 24 to a melon armor unit. It's just so good. I think it's probably one of the best tier 6s, honestly. Pretty underrated. Or actually, I have no idea because I haven't watched too many people actually play this game. <laughs> All right, level three Lioness is amazing. And now I had one roll, I was trying to find another Alpaca, but I found another Lioness instead. So now, level three Lioness, level two Lioness, getting plus 10, plus 10 a turn. And those shop animals are getting pretty beefy pretty quickly. That looks pretty scary right there, the Lynx plus the Octopus, but managed to survive. Also, this footage is sped up just a little bit, by 25% just because like this went pretty long as you can tell and I want to keep the videos a little bit shorter plus I run out of things to talk about kind of okay so stegosaurus I can just sell you I bought a zebra that's actually kind of surprising but it's one gold and it gives plus eight plus eight that is incredible efficiency it does use one of the alpaca triggers so if I actually had something that I wanted to use like a hamster if you buy a hamster it becomes level two you get four gold back Plus, you can sell it for two more. So you're spending like one gold for six, in it, or yeah, for four additional rerolls. Is that right? I don't know. It just seems very efficient. I, I didn't bother doing the actual math. And things are working out. Just this melon armor eagle with the stegosaurus behind it is doing great work. Now I decide to pivot to something else because I wanted to be cool and actually have a different team at the end. I didn't want to just win with a whole bunch of 50-50s that didn't have any synergy. And so I was like, okay, well, I could go for seal. There is soft ice right there, even though I did not freeze it. Um, and the things are pretty close to 50-50 already. So I could go with, like, if I see a bunch of seals, maybe I'll try to go four seals or something. If I see some skunks, I'll take the skunks. And there we go. There's one skunk. And next turn it will be 50-50s. But I also had a different idea in mind. So... There's a thing called the Hyena in this game, and the Hyena is just, it's a kind of chaotic but fun unit where it just swaps the stats of all the pets in this game. And as you can tell, the Skunk reduces, at level 3, the highest health unit to 1 health, and then if the Hyena goes after that, then it will become a 1 attack unit, a 150, and that's just kind of funny. Plus, it's at 49, so it's the perfect attack to go after the Skunk. It's like it was all planned out, even though it wasn't. And uh, luckily, it also I used all the alpaca triggers beforehand, because otherwise it would have gotten plus two, plus two. And also, its ability is different at level two. I think at level three, it goes back to doing both, where it swaps positions and stats. But just continuing to look for this skunk. And next turn, I can buy this skunk and hopefully get one more. If I can just get one more, then I'll be able to get two level three skunks. And that could be kind of fun. I have seen a video a while back. I think it was from Infected Player slash Disease. Where he had like a 150 at the front. And then also... <laughs> okay, not a great thing to have a 150 against a level 2 Blowfish with Pineapple. Unfortunate luck there. But you have like a 1 attack unit at the front. And then hopefully their strongest units also at the front. And it has 1 attack. And then you put like Splash Attack on it. So you just, you're hitting for one against each other, but you're doing five damage to the thing behind it. It's just, it's so genius. It looks, uh, looks like a lot of fun. I'm surprised they did not take that melon armor there, to be honest, but, uh, whatever works. There's one more skunk, so now I get two level twos, and 
combine for a level three perfect if i like i mean it seems highly unlikely and pretty tricky to get one more skunk in there because then i would have to sell the alpaca probably to fit one more skunk uh i should also note that uh parrot and tiger would have also worked here i kind of forgot about that i wonder if i rolled past any maybe they're just not in this pack i don't know if parrot was actually in this pack or not but yeah this is just it's fun to watch there we go and now you got a 142 it's just funny anything would work at this point when you have like 50 50s in the shop but there we go and that was a fun arena run anyway thanks for watching see ya